Hey guys, Suns fan here with a collector's cash number two opening for the TI9 Battle Pass. We talked about the fact that there's always been two caches every year, although they didn't specify whether there would be one this time around. But as you can see, there is. So let's take a game. Oh, before I get started, uh, apparently my girlfriend Nikki, aka Sagadine, is very lucky person. She keeps getting rares over and over again. And people have told me, in order to get lucky, I need her in the same room when I open these chests, which she actually never is, believe it or not. So maybe that is why we're generally pretty unlucky. Would you like to just poke in and say hello before we actually get started? Just poke your head in. I don't know how. Just I'm get trying. closer to the camera. All right. Hello. <laughs> there she is. Okay. So let's go through this. Uh, there are a lot of sets, just like the other collector's cache. These are made by uh, workshop artists, of course. And if we open 13, we get this many battle pass points. And if we want to recycle them, we can recycle them for two battle pass levels. All right. So first we have Drow Ranger, site of the Karen Faithful. Different color this time around for, for Drow Ranger. I'm sure this could be combined with some of the cool stuff that's been coming out with or for Drow Ranger. And th I'm, I don't play this hero, but <laughs> Warlock, Tribal Pathway, this is easily the best golem in the entire game like there's no question anymore you know who this looks like for people that watch my podcast this looks like axe look at his fists and look at his his body type this is axe now that's amazing of course when i say axe i mean the bare naked one and the set itself which you can barely see <laughs> you can tell that they didn't really care much to showcase that uh still actually looks pretty cool i like it uh wait what is this actually oh <laughs> So it shows both, and then you can get rid of the pesky warlock just to see the golem. That's nice. All right, Clockwork Directive of the Sunbound. I like this one. These sets are really good so far, I have to say. comes with uh, ambience and obviously the cogs right here. I believe that. Jesus. Jesus! There you go. These are really cool cogs. Uh, all right, we might as well go through each one, right? Model, custom effects, ambience, and I'm guessing ambience... And a loading screen. Shadow Fiend, Souls Tyrant. We have a loading screen and ambient effects. Very nice. Got like a little golden orangish feel. Abaddon, the Endless Knight. Loading screen, ambient effects. Ooh, that's I like this guy's face. He actually looks like a badass like night elf or something. Right? From like Warcraft 3 or something. I don't know. That's cool. Uh, Pudge, Dapper Disguise. We have a loading screen and ambient effects. Uh, he is rotting from his head apparently. That's a cool-looking hook. Wow, that's actually a sick-ass hook. It's a freaking umbrella. And it's like a raven head. That's... Damn. That's a really cool hook. Uh, Bloodseeker, Fury of the Bloodforge, loading screen, ambient effects. Is that three Bloodseeker sets, I think, between the two battle pass? Or the, between the two uh, collector's caches? Pretty sure. Uh, Broodmother, ambient effects, and model... Uh, this one's super cool. I think a lot of people were hoping this one would get in, and it did. And these are the little babies. I don't like the babies that much, actually, now that I look at them. But the set itself is very cool. Uh, Pangolier, Tales of the Windward Rogue. Loading screen, ambient effects. This looks very cool. I like it a lot. Oh, this is like... This is like a little tiny pair. It's a pirate set, I guess. I like it. I might, I will definitely be equipping some of the, I mean, this bird will be equipped 100%. Wraith King, Grim Destiny, loading screen, ambient effects. Very nice. I like the rib cage here. Tusk Distinguished Expeditionary. I was expecting this one to get in in the first one, because I know a lot of people wanted it. Uh, what is his weapon usually? That feels weird that he has, all right, we're, sorry guys. I just need to know. What's his... So his weapon's a hammer. So that's why it looked... That thing looks uh, almost out of place. I don't know if you guys... I don't mind if it's out of place. I like that kind of stuff, but... All right. So he's got like a little sword knife thingy. Uh, Venomancer, Verdant Predator. We have animation, ambient effects, and model. That's pretty cool. He's like a, a plant. And then... Oh, my... This Have you guys ever... What's that movie called? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Little 
shop of little horrors. shop of horrors for anybody that's watching probably 95 percent of you have never heard of that movie it's weird but it was a cool movie back in the day uh but that's definitely reminds me of that bat rider in fact tell us in the comments if you guys even know what i'm talking about how many people are old like us animation loading screen ambient effects prized acquisitions uh he is writing i guess that's a parrot pretty cool He's holding eggs. Hmm. All right. And then we get to the rare Necrophos Foul Omen animation ambient effects. Of course, this is the one that everybody was very upset did not make it in the first collector's cache. But now it finally does. So I'm sure everyone will be very happy about that. I personally love this as well. That face is just God tier. It's also a face only a mother could love. Uh, the very rare Ember Spirit animation ambient effects, Cinder Sensei. Uh, I think this is the best Ember Spirit set by far. Would you agree? This beard is fucking epic. His He has nunchucks, for God's sake. They all have particle effects. This is easily the best Ember Spirit and, and, bleh, bleh, of all time. And then last but not least, the ultra rare Juggernaut Jagged Honor loading screen ambient effects. Pretty cool. Like, this looks super different than what we're used to seeing. Um, has the same kind of hat that our Juggernaut set has, but it's like, it almost feels like it's a demon with the horns and stuff. I Very cool. All right. So before we start, how many rares are we going to get? There are one, two, three. I want your prediction. You, If I do this normally, I would get maximum one, usually zero. No. Let's look at the chances here. Don't. I don't look at that. One, I never look at that. You never look at mm -hmm. that. Okay, we're not looking at those chances, guys. You just pray to RNG. Pray to Odd and Jesus. And you just get them. So does this mean we... Do you skip at all? I usually skip when yeah, these are gone. they're gone. Okay. Which they are. Very good. Thank you, Gaben. Very nice. Very good. You're not bringing me any luck, woman. What? It took me like. You need to pray for me. You're not doing. You're just sitting there. That's what I do, though. This is just what you do. I just sit and open them, and then like, you know, I just hope that it happens. Ah. <laughs> Almost. Do you think we're gonna get the gorilla? The guaranteed set? Do you think we'll get it? Yeah. I hope so. Or else we'll have to submit a bug to Valve. <laughs> so far, you are disappointing me. She gave me a really dirty look right now. <laughs> Don't do that to your girlfriends, guys. They're, they're great. She's doing... She's trying her best. I'm not doing it. I'm just she's saying. trying her best to bring... I mean... Well, maybe you know, it's it, not, it, it doesn't work this way. Maybe it's only yeah. the yeah, it could be that my bad luck just overpowers your good luck. <laughs> All right. Oh, Gaben. Thank you, my friend. And we'll see if we have anything to open once we get all these levels as well. Oh, Gaben. <laughs> so the thing is, like, I play Necro. I play Jug. So those are the two I would definitely want. So when Ember. That, when that happens, it means it's going to happen. When what happens? When they delay it in the end. Oh. It happens. Yeah, we'll see. How many we got left? Is this five? Mm, juggernaut. <sighs> Maybe I'm not gonna... Do you want to sit and do the last one? No. You might have to. Why? Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> How many do we have left? Three. I'm doing two more. If we don't get one, you're sitting down. And then I hope you get something. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting out. One more. Guys, this is going about as the usual, <laughs> I think. All right. Let's see if she is actually lucky. One chest remains. I've gotten how, jack shit. How am I, like, 
Just sit down and talk into the mic and say, hey, guys, this is Sajadeen with the rare or something. No. Whatever. Just sit down. <laughs> God. Hmm. I don't want to be on camera. Too bad. Okay. Speak. Hello. Um, okay, I'm clicking it now. How does... Oh. How do I do it? Come on. It's not happening. Yes! Oh, yeah! You did it! <laughs> what? You don't. Well, how is that possible? <laughs> what? <the>? How? <laughs> I. All right, guys, let us know in the comments if you think that she should just be <laughs> no, doing no, the no, Dota no, Cinema no. videos from now on because I genuinely don't understand. <laughs> I genuinely, like, I'm not even kidding right now. I don't understand how some people, when it comes to just pure RNG, can just be luckier than others. Like, I'm so, you and Neil, there's something like good karma. <laughs> well, I don't, thank you for the necro set. You're welcome. That's very nice. Okay, well, that's the end of this video. Let us know what you thought of this new rendition of the chest opening. Uh, also, let us know what you think of the chest itself, what your favorite sets are and whatnot. Uh, yeah, until next time, Suns fan and Sajadeen signing out. Goodbye. Say bye. Bye. Louder. Bye. Louder. <laughs>